Southbound, heading home. Coming home tonight. We've only got 735 kilometres to go. Pretty well, um, <sighs> sort of winding down. <laughs> I stopped last night at Kerr Marina. As you know, I've had a bit of a shit run the last few days. And uh, I've been all last about sleeping and driving and been getting the run around too. So it's been a bit of a stressful couple of days. So last night, well actually it was late yesterday, yesterday afternoon, late yesterday afternoon. I got to Coo Marina Roadhouse and um, had a shower, had a feed there, and uh, just got a nice big steak and chips and salad and pepper sauce drizzled over the whole lot. Had a big feed. I had a couple of beers and by seven o'clock I was in the bunk asleep. <laughs> and I didn't even bother setting the alarm clock. Five o'clock this morning I wake up and uh, got cracking again. So into Perth and then I just gotta do the usual paperwork and put trailers away and then I'm a free man. When it gets some work done on my four-wheel drive. Gonna put a lift kit in it and go out and test that so brother's gonna come down and give me a hammer that so that should be yeah. I don't think it'll be much re relaxing to get done getting done all the way again so good morning just heading up towards Marindo Hill on the way in to uh, in the Tom Price and she's a little bit damp this morning Tops of the clouds, oh, tops of the hills over there in front. You can't really see it too on this, but the tops of the hills are in the clouds, which is not something you see around here very often. That's a nice sight to see, anyway. I'm just doing the uh, regulation thing, splitting my road train up to go up Marindu. It's um, 79 ton grace is the maximum you're allowed to drag up there. So with my three trailers, I'm over that. Plus the hill's wet, and I don't like tackling this hill when it's wet, <laughs> especially after a long dry spell. It's, uh, it tends to get slippery. So we're doing the safe thing. It takes me an extra, mm, I don't know, three quarters of an hour buggerizing around, but uh, it gets me there safely. So I'm just bringing up. My, I've done one trip over the hill already. I'm just doing the second trip over it now. And I might even get into Tom Price about 7 o'clock. So I shouldn't be um, too far out. So that'll be a good thing. We had a bit of a bugger of a trip so far. I got two fridges and a dry pan on, and both fridges are broken down on me. So I've lost about six hours so far this trip. First fridge broke down, I hadn't even left the yard. It was three hours, and the second fridge did exactly the same thing uh, up at Woburn, which is you know, three hours out of Perth. Uh, managed to get a local guy to come and fix it, but basically, both fridges threw the belts off, and um, you can't really access the body, the, the, the belts, the top belts, uh, without a bloody big ladder. So I couldn't really do anything. Myself. So, um, I mean, in the yard there, I was quite happy to let someone else fix it. I mean, that's what they're there for. So, um, now we're just coming into the other trailers. There we go. These uh, the available hookup areas out here leave uh, lots to be desired. The one down the bottom is fine, it's nice bitumen. Good little area there. Up here though, it's it's just a pokey little parking bay. If there's any other traffic in here, you're sort of screwed. You can't do much at all. It's quite lucky that um, not much here. Anyway, get lined up on that and reverse this trailer under those ones. Oh uh, yeah. Um, 
See if I can get this in one shot. <laughs> so the one up, um, in Perth, they fixed that one there, not a problem. It took them about three hours to get it done. So I got that late, really late. And then of course at uh, Woburn, we had to get someone, uh, or you know, getting a local guy to come over and uh, fix it. He brought his ladder across and I gave him a hand, but you know, passed the tools up and shit like that. <laughs> Uh, but I still, I lost three hours there. Hmm, let's see. There we go. Done. Right on. All done. Just make sure nothing falls off as soon as I take off. Be embarrassing to have a trail and land nose first in the dirt. Nah, we're all good. Not today. Alright, so yeah. Dramas with bloody fridge trailers. It's quite... So, I, personally, I think there's something up. It's, um... I had two trailers do exactly the same thing. Apparently there was another trailer the same night, which also did the same thing. So it sort of points towards, um, well, it's just a huge bloody coincidence, isn't it? Um, and there was another guy, I was talking to a guy in the yard there the other night, and he said that uh, he had one happen to him, do exactly the same thing two days before that, to him. Uh, so it sort of points towards somebody Maybe somebody who uh, looks after the fridge, does the servicing or whatever, is doing the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know. Putting the wrong tension on the belts or something. Um, you know, through... I'm not saying they're sabotaging. Maybe they just don't know. But it does seem a hell of a coincidence for all these trailers to do the exact same thing in such a short time. I don't know, Perth will sort it out, I think. Mean, you know, they've got as much, much uh, incentive for it not to happen as, as, you know, as me as a driver. So, uh, hopefully they get to the bottom of it. Alrighty, southbound again. I skipped a little bit of that. Sorry, things got a little bit hectic. Um, breakdowns and extra deliveries, stuff like that, uh, just, yeah, <laughs> just makes it a little bit hard to do stuff like this when you're flat out taking care of other stuff. Anyway, I got take, everything taken care of yesterday, um, I need to get down to Coo Marina last night, shower and good feed. My own food this time, the freezer is working nicely, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to make it back into Perth though, so I've organised, I'm going to go as far as Woburn and um, I'm going to take a break there and someone's going to run my trailers out for me, my Telford trailers. And so I'm just going to leave from there with three trailers and turn around and straight back north again. So I'm going to have to um, try and make a beeline for Newman. I've got to uh, see I hadn't allowed for doing this turnaround so I'm going to be running short on food. So I'm going to try and get back to Newman in a reasonable time tomorrow afternoon and uh, do a bit of shopping in the supermarket there. Fill the fridge and freezer up again. And I don't know what I'm going to have on this trip. I'm guessing there's going to be Newman, uh, sorry, Headland General Freight on. And I don't know if I've got um, 
nifty freight or if I've got the burn cut general freight I won't find out until tonight but theoretically I can actually get to Telfer quite early so I'll we'll just have to I'll see what time I get the trailers and I'll just uh, work out my we're getting the driving hours and stuff from there. Try to figure it out. Make a, make a bit of a plan. Make a trip plan. Hey, here's that. Here's that for an original idea. As you can guess, it's a little bit wet. So, it's been, apparently it's been very stormy in Perth. Um, there's been something like 45 millimetres of rain, which is nearly two inches of rain in Perth. So, I just hope my place is still there and it's not flooded out. Someone checking on it tonight. That should be alright. I can't see any problems. I don't think there's been much in the way of really high wind and stuff like that. I think there's more on the coast. I'm inland a bit from the coast. So I'm not sort of worried about having a tree through the roof or anything like that, but it'd just be nice to know that everything's all okay. Because um, I'm not going to get home until probably Monday, Tuesday now, so that's Thursday now. And, um, yeah, it's just nice to sort of know that everything's okay. Out here, it's, it's just been rain. Um, it started last night sometime. Like I said, I pulled up last night and I've had a bloody good sleep. When I was mining, it was sort of wipers on, sort of all mining. None of the floodways have been running yet. I think the sides of the roads are probably starting to get soft about now. So if we're getting any these big loads, any of these eight, eight and a half metre loads, then I'm going to be a bit reluctant to get too far over on the shoulder. I don't want to get stuck. They can get stuck. I don't want to get stuck getting out of their way. They can get out of my way. So, we'll see how we go. Um, if this rain keeps up, I may start having dramas when I turn around to head back north again start getting floodways that have got water in them. So, I don't know, all we can do is just suck up and see. 